This is Gary. He's had a uh, head injury. He's had a fall and with an injury to this uh, V1 cort cortical area. Actually had an open one. We're going to ask him to do the hallway walk. Gary, would you do that for me, please? Trying to stay in the center of the hallway as much as you can. You turn around and come back. Now, Gary, you're looking down a lot. Why is it? Why are you doing that? Watching my feet. Okay, very good. Do you find you need to do that? Uh, yeah. Okay, here's the prisms. Okay. Turn them. Turn around and let's do the hallway walk again. And again, do it. Do whatever is normal for you. Okay, do whatever feels good. Whatever you have to do. Come on back. I don't feel like I have to concentrate so much for some reason. I don't know. You're not looking down, Gary. No, I don't, I don't feel like I have to concentrate so much. Did you notice that when you were on your way out, what was the difference between you on the way out and coming back? I felt that, that, that I was visually seeing more and, and, and things were were coming into the brain a lot easier than before because I'd have to look down to... I, I, ever since I've had my injury, I had to look at my feet mm -hmm. to make sure that they were planted so that I wouldn't trip. And that was one of the things of therapy that they would actually yell at me Yeah. because I'd be looking at my feet all the time. Mm -hmm. And when, by putting these on, it seems like... It's pretty obvious you weren't looking at your yeah, feet. feet. I, I would check I them every now and then because maybe it's habit, yeah. but... I think if I had something like this I wore every day, I wouldn't be doing that so much. Okay. You did know. did you did you feel that the uh, you staggered quite to the, to the left hand side uh, quite a bit on the way out without mm -hmm. the glasses? Mm -hmm. Did you notice that? Did yeah. You know? Oh yeah, I noticed when I stagger. Yeah. Did you know. Did you notice any change on, on the way back? No, because I think I have a, a clear visual of what I'm seeing. I mean, it's the information coming into my. It's processing that's making me more relaxed. And was your stride any? Did it feel oh any yeah, different? Oh yeah, it felt a lot different. Yeah, no doubt. How's that? Can you put it in words? Confidence, hmm. I think, is the biggest thing. Like I said, seeing. I mean, because because what I've learned from a brain injury is that my eyes also gives me a sense of balance. Absolutely. So with dealing with the inner ear, with the um, vertigo mm -hmm. and then the balls of my feet mm -hmm. is another form of balance by putting the glasses on and it just the information was so much clearer versus being scrambled okay so, people have said uh, that they've described that the floor feels spongy to them at times is that a term you could relate to no, no, okay no. tell you what let's do it one more time Okay. Take the without glasses. the glasses. Now you, you hold on to them. No, no, hold on to them. Right. And then what we'll do is we'll have you uh, walk out without them, and then walk back with them, and, and see if there's any difference. Go ahead. Okay, now put turn around, put them on. <laughs> I, yeah. I actually feel like I could run if I wanted to. <laughs> well, you will be running shortly. I mean, soon. no. I mean, because prior to my injury, I used to go to the Y five days a week. Yeah. And I would ride a bicycle for 10 miles. I would walk for three. Okay? Yeah. And I would do what they call the elliptical machine for a half yeah, an hour. Yeah, sure enough. And I haven't done it since my injury because... I get dizzy. I get dizzy and I can't do it. Mm -hmm. Like I just said, I probably felt like I could run. And that's, I always... Well, we're not going to try that yet. My no, insurance will cover you. <laughs>